Hey Z Physics, I need some help. I'm busy. No, I really want to improve at physics, but I just don't know how. Wait, did you say improve at physics? Do you have some tips for me? I actually have some crazy effective physics hacks and not following them can slow down your progress dramatically. Make sure to watch the video until the very end when I'm going to be revealing my favorite physics book. Well, I'm not watching the video, I'm actually in the video, remember? Oh, yeah. Of course. Tip number one, focus on building intuition. We start learning classical mechanics at an early age and over the years we solve hundreds, maybe even thousands of problems. It is no surprise that we find concepts in electromagnetism, Lagrangian mechanics, relativity difficult only after one semester of work. Yeah, this is so true. By far the best way to build intuition is to solve problems, lots of them. Also get familiar with important experiments that show showcase the real nature of the equations. Tip number two, imagine being taught by some of the very best scientists in the world. Yes, their lectures are online and in the description of this video, I'm going to leave some of my favorite resources. But sometimes I feel completely stuck on a problem and I have no idea how to approach it. Ah, yes, there is a secret. Find a group of people, maybe two or three, all are equally as excited about physics as yourself and solve problems and learn together. When others are stuck, you may be able to help them and when you are stuck, they may be able to help you. Overall, you may even be able to progress twice as fast. Now, in order to understand physics deeply, we must speak the language of nature, mathematics. And a free and easy way to learn about this deeply is the sponsor of today's video, Brilliant. It is by far the best way to learn math, science and computer science interactively. But what really impressed me is just how an engaging platform Brilliant actually is. All the problems are extremely original and they have been put into the context of real world scenarios. My personal favorite course is Quantum Mechanics with Sabine. It guides you through the basics and it reaches quantum entanglement, its implications. Another course which will be really relevant to you is the Contest Maths, which is full of strategies and problems. Whatever your skill level, Brilliant will customize your lessons to fit your specific needs. You must absolutely check it out and you can get a free trial for 30 days and the first 200 people that sign up will get 20% off discount using the link brilliant.org slash zphysics. And now back to the video. You also promised to reveal your favorite physics book. Don't worry, I've not forgotten. And my favorite physics book is Introduction to Classical Mechanics with Problems and Solutions by David Morin from Harvard University. This book starts from the very basics and leads on to some of the most intricate advanced dynamics, Lagrangians and relativity. What really separates it from other books is the huge bank of original Olympiad style problems that exist for every chapter complete with David Morin's original solutions for them. I recognize so many of the concepts in this book as they keep appearing in the physics olympiads and many of the problems are just so cool and different will really help your physics understanding. Now I have to be honest though, it's entirely possible that you solve multiple different problems and you still find physics difficult. And that's because you shouldn't just be solving problems but you should also be doing the steps outlined in this video right over here. So go ahead and check it out. 